going, everyone? This is Carlos here with Backyard Diesels. Uh, got a little small tutorial of the basics on the high pressure system. Um, All right, he's talking about Sí. All right. I got my cameraman, my head guy, me Maori. But anyways, I got a fuel system right here. This is a, a remanufactured system. And we screwed up on this system by ordering a remanufacturer. I would never order a uh, remanufacturer. Um, uh, system never have and, and never will again. I don't know if this big screw up is a big thing here, but don't that's my fault. Uh, and the reason was that we installed this system and uh, we this truck had a contamination issue. Uh, I'm fixing to show you uh, what I found. Um, first, let me walk you over here through this truck, it's a 2017 Ford. 550. Uh, we did the full work, everything, uh, you name it. Flushed out the lights, new filter, new lift pump, new cooler, uh, fuel cooler, uh, the full works. Cause man, these damn CP3s, uh, hell, CP4 pumps, they're, they're just, they're crap. And not that they're crap, the reason they have flaws in them due to the lubrication and, and, and the design of the high pressure pump. So, but anyway, that, that's, that's this truck here. So what happened, we installed the, uh, the system, uh, truck fired right up, no problem, no sweat, drove it, uh, put about 10 miles on it maybe, uh, come back to the shop, uh, then we had a, a long crank start. So I kept doing it, like what the hell, so we backtracked, maybe we left something wrong, uh, just checked the full thing again and we didn't find anything, so now we pulled the... Uh, to control actuator just sits on top of your high pressure pump and what we found is that this actuator is actually uh, from another uh, this is you know uh, uh, where we get our, su our supplies from one of one of them anyways uh, it, there's rust the, the screen is it, shit uh, then so okay you know figured man what the hell how would you install uh, hell, anybody, it's, uh, it's an $80 part, uh, $160 if you don't have a commercial account, somewhere in there. Uh, then we pulled out the uh, regulator. Well, they're both regulators, but they have different purposes. And then we found faint contamination on it. You can barely see it. Uh, so there's metal in the system again, uh, aluminum or whatever, you know, from the... Uh, it's really metal on the on the roller I'm fixing to show you. This is a new high pressure uh, remanufactured pump that we bought. We found very faint. I figured, man, hell, what the hell? We probably left trash or something in there or something. But there's no. We never pulled it out until we pulled it out. So these are the rails. Here's the injectors. And one thing that I did notice, I'm not rebuilding or doing anything. But some of these injectors are uh, 116 and 216 longer than than stock or original. Cause they've been you know remanufactured or whatever i don't know if that's anything to do with it but i'm the length on the torque on these you're looking at 22 25 uh, inch pounds with a 90 degree torque uh, angle on them so here here's a, another one this is an early model a late model 2012 and this is what a contamination does you know it just shoots metal throughout the entire system here's the roller what i'm talking about i think this would have been an awesome pump if they would have decided to guide a guide on these rollers for uh, flat, like them Cummins, a, a flat roller. But here, here it is. This is what you can see. This is what happened. It starts eating. This this roller actually spins, and you can it spins on the. Um, there's a little cam in here inside this high pressure pump, and you can see there's there's nothing to guide it. This thing can go anywhere it wants to. So that's what happened. This is a contaminated system that we have and uh, that we use uh, as a demonstration to show people what happens to these things. Because these are high dollar. So that's what happened. This is a, we replaced the system with another competitor from this remanufacturer. But that was our mistake. We never had problems with these guys before. We've always bought OEM parts from here. Uh, it, it was my mistake. I didn't find them check. So it was a remanufacturer, didn't notice. Uh, they told me it was this much. I'm like, oh, cool, that's cheap. Uh, it was a uh, 2800 something like that. I don't know. I'm like, oh, cool, that's cheap, man. They're probably dropping their prices, but me not thinking. 
and I wait. So I don't even feel comfortable installing and manufacturing. When you have this much work, you don't want to go with the cheap shit. There's no way that you got too much. Here I am stuck doing it twice, which is cool. I don't care. I'm not going to lose no money and I'm not going to make no money. But I want it done the right way. Uh, so that's the thing. Just, I, I want to take this high pressure pump off. I'm willing to bet one of those rollers <coughs> it has already damaged on it. Just judging by the regulator. And you can barely see faint. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. It's very faint. On the tip, um, already uh, shrapnel in there. That's what happened. This thing grenades. That's where the uh, uh, disaster kit comes into play. It's instead of sending the fuel back into the entire fuel system, it actually sends it to the filter, which uh, filters. I think uh, if it's not three to five microns, which that ain't shit. That not even uh, hair will get through. I mean, in a sense. But that's what happens. It's awesome. Don't, do not go with remanufactured. Uh, spend another couple of grand or grand whatever it is uh, to do it right and do it right the first time clean out your system uh, drop your tank no matter there's gonna be sparkles in there believe me if you, it's a few here and there uh, line it, uh, new filters uh, the full work take your time flush the entire system shit you're gonna spend more time flushing cleaning and everything uh, that's for this truck that we worked on we don't have fast nothing here. Here's all the filters, lift pump, uh, all the old parts, which and on the return, they only ask for the injectors and the uh, uh, high pressure pump. So that's, that's, that's part of that truck. So that's what we got, man. Just save you some time, save you some headaches, spend the time on cleaning the system. You do not want to do this again. Uh, it's, it's a lot of work. To be doing half fast, do not just replace the high pressure pump. Uh, do not think you can clean out your injector. Those things have to be just a simple, uh, I don't know what you call them inside the injectors. I don't know precisely how they how they work, and I know how to take them apart, look, see what's happening. I know what's something wrong, but I can't, you know, rebuild them and tell you exactly. I know the function of them, and that's and if you get debris in there, the components inside, you know, it's just not going to work. You're going to scald up, scratch, lose pressure through it, even the tiniest scratch anywhere. So, but anyway, so hopefully this was helpful. Uh, appreciate you guys. Uh, and I got this situation. I got another OEM kit on the way. And this looks bad. Uh, owner come in. Truck was ready. I had to call him back. You know, bro, I found this. Uh, let me do this the right way. And that's how you do it. Uh, good thing, you know, I'm a shop. I can afford to lose a few uh, couple thousand, whatever you want to call it, a few hundred bucks, whatever. But if, if you're doing it from home by yourself and all that, just do it the right way and uh, clean this. It's, it's staying clean, it's the number one on this system. But also, damn, that high pressure uh, design freaking sucks, bro. It's, I don't know how that lifter could just uh, roll or go anywhere. It could actually do whatever it wants. Who knows what it's doing in there, if it's spinning or not. Uh, going uh, tango or something inside of it. It's got no guidance, nothing. It's just pressure to the spring. But anyway, uh, any comments? Uh, shoot back. Uh, <coughs> I can assist you. Uh, I'm in here to help. So, anyways, I appreciate it. And have good luck for whatever you're repairing or looking at the video. Anyway, bye guys.